Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to use the sweep command. This is the 3D command and it's quite useful when drawing pipes on a plant or there's a few um, applications you can use this for. But in this example I'm going to show you how to draw a pipe with some bends in it and we're going to use the sweep command. I'm just going to tell you what to look out for, what you should do before using the sweep command. So the first thing you do is you draw the size of the pipe. So let's say I want to make this pipe one millimeter wide. I know that's not a very big pipe, this is just for an example. And the next thing you need to do is draw the path this pipe is going to go. So it's going to go straight and let's say there's a bend there and another bend there. So the next thing you want to do is you want to fillet these edges or points so that you can have the same effect as a pipe going around a corner. And we know a pipe is not square when going around a corner. So I'm going to fillet this. So first thing I'm going to set the radius. So I type R, enter. Then I select the radius I want. And very important, this radius should be bigger than the diameter of your circle. Let's, let's just for example make a, uh, a bend that's smaller than the radius of our circle. Let's make it 0 0.5. And we're going to make that bend 0 0.5. So just for example, so say I want to sweep the circle. So I'm just going to make a copy of it. So if I want to use the sweep command and I go to my modeling tab and I select the sweep command, then first thing you have to do is you have to select the object you want to sweep. In this case, it's going to be the circle. So I'm going to select the circle, then right click to end my selection. Then I'm going to select the path that I wanted to go. So if I click on this bend that I've just made that is smaller than the radius of this circle it's not going to be able to sweep because this object is going to run into itself when it goes around this corner so it's going to make it's not going to have an internal radius but it will have an external radius so that means if we want to sweep and go around this corner or this bend that it's going to make a 90 degree turn or smaller and the pipe is going to crash into itself so that's why it doesn't want to sweep around a bend that's smaller than the radius of the circle. So let's just fix this. We're going to make the radius. I'm going to go to my draw or to my modify tab. Then I'm going to select fillet. I'm going to type R enter it for the radius. Then I'm going to make this radius 2 just to make sure it doesn't clash. Because we made this radius 1. So now we're going to make this bend 2. I'm going to delete that one with the delete button. So now if we want to sweep, we can select the object, right click to end the selection. Then we can select that. And as you can see, it's swept around that corner. So this is all going to be in 3D. I'm going to show you how to rotate your view in just a second. So I'm going to undo that sweep because I want to sweep this whole section at once this whole path at once so i'm going to fill it that edge as well and the default or the radius that i put in as two is still going to be saved there um, from my previous use of the command so i'm going to make that bend there so let's just go into your 3d view and to do that you hold down the shift button and the scroll button on your mouse and you just drag to the side and as you can see that makes you go into a 3D view. Or alternatively, you can just click on where you want to view from. So there's a lot of selections you can select. So there we're back in top view. So I'm going to go into this ISO view because I want to make it go up as well. So let's just fill it this as well. And there you have all the bends that the pipe can go, or that I want the path that I wanted to make. So to make this work together as one piece, so you don't have to copy another pipe or diameter circle. 
So to make this all work as one, you can select all the lines and it bends and you hit J for join and enter. Sorry, that was the wrong button. And then enter. And now you can see you have one single line. So the next thing you want to do is you go into your modeling tab and you select the sweep command. Then you select the object you want to sweep, right click to end the selection and select the path. So as you can see, it's created a, a pipe or it swept that whole circle, the path that you've chosen. So to see the complete pipe or the, it's not a pipe yet, I'm going to show you how to convert this to a pipe. So to, con to see what you've just done, we're going to go into realistic view. And as you can see, there's a very neat looking pipe. Well, it's almost a pipe. So the next step is we go to the solid edit tab and we can go to shell Then we select the object we want to create. And then we right click and then we should say how thick the pipe is going to be. So I'm going to make mine 0 0.1 because the diameter is one. So it's going to be quite a thick pipe or thick looking pipe. And then we have to just say S enter and as you can see there is a pipe so the ends are closed off we have to select that and then we can exit the command so now we have a pipe but the edges are still closed so what you can do to open this, I know there's another way to do it, but the easiest way is to go into your slice, select your object, just slice off that edge. Delete, and as you can see, that is a pipe. So I hope this command helped you, and I hope you found something that will help you in your drawings. So see you next time, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.